Hey everybody, it's me, Brandon, and I want to thank you all for sticking with me for five episodes. We did it! We've already made it that far. This is the longest I've ever stuck with any of my YouTube shows, so, uh, hey, let's celebrate. I'm here, I'm in the Royal Hall, don't I look good? Look at my hair, bitch. My hair is late. I got this crown on. This lace is sitting nicely. I got my Shirley Temple ringlets. I look good in this jacket. Bling, bling, bitch. I feel like a king. So let's go. Here we go. Um, Shout out to GMC LA again. Um, they're starting their shows. Um, as of this recording, we'll start shows on Saturday, the 25th, and they'll have a couple shows Saturday and Sunday. Um, so, yeah, you don't want to miss them. Uh, last year, I was on stage naked, almost naked, for every show. So, that's what you can expect from GMCLA. So, shout out to y'all, my kings. Do y'all thing. High stakes. This is the show... Where we brew the tea, we sip the tea, we take the THC, and we spill the tea. And today, we have a themed episode. And why I'm in this get up? Because here in America, we got a tyrant, bitch. We got a tyrant, and we need to deal with it. We need to talk about what's going on, who the kings and queens are, or, or what's going on, all the key players. We're going to get to that. But tonight, I'm excited because um, this is the first piece that is debuting here on High Stakes. All the other pieces are pieces I've owned and I've had for a while. Uh, this I picked up while I was out thinking about how to get new pieces for the show. So I'd like to introduce you first. First, let's do the strain. The strain is Granddaddy Purple. Yup, looking good. It is an indica. This is supposed to be a heavy indica, so we might get just get knocked the fuck out here in the middle of this episode, but we don't know. Let's see. But the piece, y'all, the piece. Oh, a tiny little classy thing, gold encrusted with jewels. I call him King George, bitch, because you know what? King George may have been taxing tea and throwing men in your house. I mean, one of them British shoulders could have quartered up with me anytime. I'm just, I'm just shading. Um, but King George, other than that, he was cool. He was up there fly like this. It's one of his, his jackets. He designed this. And he was up here in these wigs looking good. Okay, so Maybe he wasn't all that bad. So in honor of King George, I'm going to smoke Granddaddy Purple, Royal Purple, OG, out of King George tonight. Come on. He doesn't have a filter. I hear they like it raw in the UK. Indubitably. <laughs> all right, let's get started. So tonight, like I said, we got an all theme show. The Tyrant of America. Tyrant Trump. And I'm going to call him that because he is up to fuckery bullshit. And I get tired of talking about him. I want to talk about some other stuff. I want to talk about global things. I want, you know, there... Here, okay, so I will say, there are some topics I will not cover. Shootings, I will not cover because y'all know what they are and we know when they happen and they have hurt us so much. I can't do this and talk about a shooting. I barely could talk about the Uber thing from uh, the third episode. So anytime anyone's losing a life, I can't do it because that's too serious. And um, now that I'm, I'm saying this, it, it does remind me of something. I still want to take a quick pause before we continue. Um, this morning I learned of the passing of my good friend, um, Joanne Conroy of Rock Springs, Wyoming. Um, Joanne had a passion for living and a love for life that is by far unmatched that I've seen 
in people. The sweetest woman. She is one of only five people that subscribe to my website. And I knew she did, because anytime I put anything on there, she would tell me, I like that track. I like that saxophone piece you did. It reminded me of being in the band. Or I like that jazz piece that you put up there. Um, or, you know, how was that modeling shoot? Joanne was down, and she's going to be missed. We love you, Joanne. Prayers to your family. Rest easy, my sister. But see how I got right there? That's, that's, that's emotion. And so it's really hard to make fun of things like that. So we'll go on with the show. Joanne would love this. And I know she down there. She already watched the first episode. And I'm going to send the other ones to her because she was down for what your boy was presenting. She was always down. Um, so that being said... If there are anything that you want me to cover, just let me know. But I will say, if it feels like a big story that I'm not covering, it's probably because I feel like I can't really poke fun at it. And I don't want to do... Uh, I don't want to offend anybody. And I'm a pretty sensitive person. So it would, wouldn't be right for me either. But that being said, I can make fun of his ass. Because he claimed he had the stamina to go all night. Stormy said otherwise. Hey, Stormy. But uh, he said he could go all night and he got the stamina and the temperament to be president. So come on, take these shots. Barry took his shots for eight years. W took his because Lord knows I was throwing mine at W. Okay, W took his. So come on, Trump. Tyrant Trump. Let's go. Story number one. Speaking of tyrant. Oh, okay. Well, let's go. Let's talk about one tyrant talking to another tyrant. Y'all, Trump did... Trump congratulated Putin. Shocker. I know. So, in Russia, the election was last week, um, and Vladimir Putin was facing six challengers, I believe. He received 77% of the total vote. Now, Trump Hillary came down to the fact that she won more votes than him and had a higher percentage of people in America voted for her. And... So automatically that meant he was president. But in this scenario, it's very unlikely that someone would get 77 mother... percent of a vote of a whole nation. And Russia, girl? Russia is the biggest fucking nation we got on the, on the planet. That shit is huge. You could put America, um, Alaska, um... Africa, you could put Asia in Russia, and that shit is still going, okay? And Vladimir, all that, well, all that space don't mean people, so I understand. But how he gets 77%, I'm going to tell you, because that shit was a sham, and we all know it. If we call, recall, anybody who's challenged him for the presidency or has tried to make a viable attempt to snatch that crown from him, um, Vladdy shut that shit down. In the Russian government, you can't run for president if you've been arrested and charged with, I don't, I believe it's their level of felony. That would be the same thing in America. Um, but what he do, usually the people that want to run against him are people protesting his shit. So what he do is he catch your ass protesting and try to slap you with a felony crime. So the guy that had the biggest chance, uh, for this next election coming up, um, they got him. And so he wasn't even in the running. Talk about some Shangela couldn't be in All Stars 3 winner talk. Ooh, y'all still bitter about that. Don't don't worry about it. At tomorrow the new girls coming out tomorrow and I live for them. So okay, first, yeah. The new girls are coming out tomorrow. Anyway, I shit up. Daddy OG got me ready to talk, okay? Here we go. So Russia was a sham. Everybody knew Vladdy was going to get it. And he going to be president for another six years, bitch. Six years. We going to sign up with that motherfucker for six years over there, okay? Okay? They got his ass for And then combined with all the other weight, when he was dictator, then he was president, then he was prime minister, okay? All the different leadership roles he didn't held as that country shifted. This motherfucker would have had the crown, the gavel, for almost 25 years now. That don't make no sense. But anyway, okay, that's they mess. And Russia, we looking at you, but y'all clean that shit up. 
So Trump get his briefings and they let they let they somebody type up, get it all together, let him know what he need to know, like I'm doing with y'all. Somebody maybe if hey Trump, if you watching, I'll I i I'll give you news like this. I will give it to you if you want to watch, Mr. President. Come watch me. Okay, I'm going to give it quick, dirty, and easy, just like you like it. But anyway, so somebody typed up and was like, hey, you going to call Vlad, but what you not going to do, what you not going to do is congratulate him on that bullshit sham of election. This shit was in all caps because you know like to type in caps so they was like maybe the caps gonna get to him okay so this bitch they told him don't congratulate him okay um you gonna talk about the nerve agent when they was poisoning Teresa remember this okay um you gonna condemn him and tell him that ain't cool and you gonna keep it at that he said okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah sure this motherfucker got on the phone and immediately went, Hey, Vladdy, congratulations on a well-fought election. I know what it's like to win an election. Congratulations to you on becoming president. Anything else? Oh, no, we good. So not only did he congratulate him, which everybody told him not to do, he also went on there and forgot to say the one thing that that he would and when when people asked him what was going on what was going on he was like oh shit that part slipped my mind but we gonna talk soon we meeting soon just so you know we meeting soon he sound like he sound like that ex-boyfriend or girlfriend that that's telling everybody y'all getting back together oh we we talking we gonna meet we gonna meet it's gonna work out we gonna meet yeah we just we cool no Vlad is playing you like a fucking Stradivarius, bitch. He is old school playing you. Old school and a little bit of new school because they cyber attacking too. And here's the other thing. This is what this is what puts me in our theme today because only someone like this would have all your advice. All oh, Republican, Democrat, bisexual, lesbian, vampire, werewolf, Mormon, Protestant, all of them was sitting up there saying, don't do this. Don't. That's bullshit. And he did it anyway because he don't give a fuck. That's what a tyrant does. That's what a, a leader of a country who doesn't give a fuck is a tyrant. And there he go. Okay, so, and then the other thing is he mad at the leaks. He mad that the tea spilled. He was like, well, who's, who, who told the press what I was saying on the phone? Those, those my nighttime, anytime minutes, okay? I can call whoever the fuck I want to. And that, mm, so he was shook. He was shook about that. So, all his tea getting out. Point number two. Story number two. This is the other thing. This is the other thing. And this is a little story that's getting buried on all, under all the other ones. So, I, when I found this one, I wanted to bring it to y'all. Because I know they with so much shit. Facebook, Stormy Daniels, North Korea, Russia, other special. All that shit is getting overwhelming. So, this one is seems very minor. But it's a little crazy. So it turns out that one of Tyrant T's advisors, um, actually two of them, two people in his circle, was working, was working for the Saudi Arabians. No, excuse me, not with the Saudi. I'll take that back. Not the Saudi Arabians. They were working for the UAE. Okay, the United Arab Emirates. Here's the tea. George Nader, advisor to the de facto leader of the UAE, because they they over there and they, they some bullshit. So whoever trying to get the show together, he talking to them. George Nader, okay? And then we got Elliot Broidy. He is the finance chair of the RNC. So one uh, back then when Trump was getting ready to come on and face Hillary and shock and jive. Took five episodes, but I finally brought it back. When he was up there shucking and jiving on the stage, the UAE was up there looking at him like, okay, we know him. He a businessman. He running for president. We got money. We need to get made. 
So we gonna be looking at him, and if he get up in there, we gonna be ready. We need to have a checklist of what we need. We need a quick fix, bitch, okay? We need a quick fix. So they reached out to Nader and was like, hey, can you whisper in it something? Let me whisper something in here. Okay, do the whisper song on him. And Nader was like, let me see what I can do. So Nader reached out to Brody and Brody and them was going back and forth, blah, blah, blah. And it turned out that these, these monarchs, these kings, tyrants over there were like, he need to help us. They was funding this shit. They was right. They was trying to figure it out. And so, this is where it gets really scary and crazy. One of their goals was to put pressure on Qatar and Iran because the they competing over there. So we was like, we need to knock them off, and maybe America help us do that. Rex Tillerson, as Secretary of State, you know, it's his job to look at the dip diplomacy and it's his job to check it out. He was like, no, no, we're not going to be hard on Iran and Qatar. They, that deal's pretty solid. I think we're going to be all right. They put, they called the, so they called Nader and Elliot and told them, do it. And Nate and Elliot put pressure on Trump to fire Rex. And we saw what happened. Rex was shocked. Okay, meanwhile, the two monarchs sit, sitting up, watching the news, sitting up in the palace like, there's some good desert kush. They was just, they was chill. They was taking it all in. And so, it was very convenient that this week, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, Prince Muhammad, oh, but he fine, though, girl, he fine. I do like, I do like this. Arabic men, they fine. Um, he came, and he was trying to meet with leaders and politicians because he looking to see who he can buy off, and I bet you Trump um, was, too. So he was coming into town, and, so Tr and Donnie was talking to him, and so it just seemed to me they all up here talking about let's split the oil money and 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 Donnie trying to make bank off our bank. Okay, that White House is ours. We pay those taxes. We are the people of America. So he up there fronting and fornicating on our dime, and I'm not about to have it. Okay, I'm over it. But there are people who are. Fighting back. And that's the third part of what I want to talk about tonight, okay? So, in these times, it may seem like everyone's let it slide. The, Republic, the Republicans in Congress, they ain't doing shit. They ain't doing shit. They shut down their investigation. They don't care that Andrew McGabe was fired. They don't give a fuck. Except for when this happened. Sometime last year, Press Secretary Sanders was in the press room and she was getting, he was like, why did John Kelly, Chief of Staff, say what he had to say? And that sounds crazy. And this is, a, this is a retired general. Why is he sounding crazy? Why is he up here sounding crazy, if anyone? And Sarah was like, um, excuse me, he is a retired four-star, five-star, whatever general, General Kelly, okay? Shh, humble yourself. And pay homage. Shout out if you know where that's from. Um, humble yourself and pay homage to him. His words should not be questioned. Miss Piggy out. Sorry, Sanders. I don't mean to shame you except for you just get up there and lie too much. You you gonna get it, girl. I'm not above it. Anyway, so she said that and everybody was like, okay, well, if that's the case... If they're like, if they're saying generals are, should be respected, we can't talk about them, we can't ask them no questions, nothing, then what about these generals? Okay, so, and and people and leaders. Okay, so here, I'm gonna I'm go, I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna go through this one first. So former CIA director John Brennan came out and he was like, fuck him. 
He said it in a tweet. I, I couldn't find him saying a tweet, but here go the tweet. Good morning, Victor. Great to be with you. Uh, good to have you. Let me first uh, start with uh, this fiery statement from uh, the former CIA director, John Brennan, in reaction to uh, this uh, firing of Andrew McCabe. When the full extent of your venality, moral turpitude, and political corruption becomes known, you will take your rightful place as a disgraced demagogue in the dustbin of history. You may scapegoat Andy McCabe, but you will not destroy America. America will triumph over you. That uh, apparently directed for... So, I mean, damn. Damn. The former CIA director coming at him like that. And it's no wonder that they up there fucking with the CIA and the FBI and everybody else. Because this man said, no, we respect the office. But that motherfucker sitting up there in the office. Okay? So, they up there trying to, try to say the CIA is corrupt and the FBI is corrupt and, and biased and, and why no Republicans on my... Don't you get my man name off your mouth. My man is a Republican, okay? I don't hold that against him because he's doing the Lord's work right now, okay? So, I mean, but then, okay, so that's not a general. That's not good enough. Sarah said generals, military people that have given their life, their service, we got one of them? We got one of them? Okay, play it. Today, retired four-star U.S. Army General Barry McCaffrey, a decorated combat veteran of Vietnam, a former battlefield commander in the Persian Gulf, wrote this on Twitter, quote, Reluctantly, I have concluded that President Trump is a serious threat to U.S. national security. He is refusing to protect vital U.S. interests from active Russian attacks. It is apparent that he is, for some unknown reason, under the sway of Mr. Putin. This so, I mean, yeah, that four-star general, he wasn't playing. Okay, so I don't question that. Okay, fine, Sarah, I don't question that. And I'm not questioning that there is a resistance in this. Maybe the, maybe granddaddy purple is not sort of a goofy, but got me ready to fight. Because these are high stakes people. And this is what's on the line. So get behind the former CIA director, get behind four star generals and let it be known. If this ain't shit that you want to tolerate in this country, let's not fucking tolerate. Get out there. Spread the word, okay? A lot of us are getting burnt out and, and turned around. And uh, this is my way to keep on it and keep processing what's happening and be a part of the right side of history. These are high stakes people. If you've liked what you've seen tonight, please like and subscribe to the channel, the dark channel. And uh, we'll be happy to provide more content like this. Thank you so much for five episodes. Here's to many more.